Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to, or welcome to this video. My name is Perla Gomez, and if you're new to my channel, I just want to say thanks for watching. There are definitely other videos, so make sure you click that subscribe button so that you're aware of the other videos that come out. I typically do a video every week, so that is my goal. You'll definitely be, um, you know, listening to something new every week. Um, I do have a few other videos that I've recorded, so I hope that you check those out as well. But let's go ahead and get started. My topic today is going to be asking for help. That's the title of this video, asking for help. And what I mean by asking for help, um, I, I mean asking God for help. So I think that it's really easy for us to, us as humans, right, to go to um, friends, to go to family when we're in need of some advice, when we're just in need of some help of some sort. Now that's a great thing. It's a great thing to be able to reach out to somebody and say, hey, I need, I need help or I need advice, or I need to know what to do in this situation, and that's amazing. A few things I want to tell you about asking friends or people for help is make sure you know that person is going to give you good advice. If you know that that person probably doesn't have the best fruits um, in their life, meaning they haven't made the best decisions, I an advice to you is I probably don't want to be asking that person for advice. Although they might have wisdom for other situations, um, they might be great friends. Just be careful who you're asking help, um, who you're asking for help. This video is basically going to be concentrated on asking God for help. So I think it's the easiest thing to do, but it's also the easiest thing to miss or forget. We typically don't think about asking God when we're in the middle of our mess of asking God. We're just, we just see the actual situation. We see the problem. We can see with our eyes what's going on and we freak out. We get really scared, we panic, we don't know what to do. So our first reaction is probably not to ask God for help. But today, I want to tell you and I hope to inspire you to start making God the first person you ask for help. I can guarantee you, because I don't guarantee it, because God guarantees it, but the Bible can guarantee that if you start asking God initially for help in everything that you may be going through, the little things like, oh, I really hope I pass my test, to, oh, I really hope we can close on this house, to, is this the guy I'm supposed to marry, or is this the girl, you know, whatever, or whatever it is. Should I eat macaroni and cheese today? Should I um, brush my hair today? Although you should probably brush your hair. But whatever that is, like whatever issue, whatever question, whatever thing that you're going through, whatever decision you have to make, I can bet you that if you start asking God first and initially making him the first person you go to for anything, I can guarantee you, because of God's guarantee in his word, that everything in life will just be a little bit more clear. What's gonna happen as soon as you start asking God first or consulting God for a question or just a decision you have to make or a problem you're going through, is that as you go to other people and ask them for advice or ask them for help, you're gonna start feeling like you're pretty wise. And that's just not, it's not just going to happen out of nowhere. It's going to be because God is going to start giving you wisdom beforehand. Before you start asking other people, you're going to be filled with wisdom pre or beforehand. And as that person starts giving you advice, starts telling you, well, I think you should do this. Or like, well, that's crazy, blah, blah, blah. Well, I'm not saying that their advice is a blah, 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 but you know what I mean? You're going to start realizing, uh doesn't seem like a good idea um, or you're just gonna like your heart your spirit your mind's gonna connect to whatever they're saying and you're gonna be like yeah I feel like that's what I was asking God that's what I was praying for but I didn't really know how to put it into words and I just needed confirmation and it's gonna be even more amazing I also want to encourage you to read Psalms 55 
um, actually verse 16 through 19, remember that if you call out to God, He promises to answer. He promises to fight for you. He hears you. The number of issues and problems you can have is does not compare to the number of miracles and the number of blessings that God can give you for everything that you're going through. So please know that there is a God who loves you and that there is a God who really, really cares about every single one of your issues, of your mess. He cares about all of your concerns and questions. And if you call out to him, he will answer. So I just wanna encourage you today to remember to make God your number one and he will start to give you wisdom to listen to other advice. Because remember that these people that are in our lives were obviously created to help us. So it's great to take their advice. Just don't forget to ask God first. But that's all I have for today. Um, here are some other videos that I have. Please don't forget to subscribe and share this video. And comment down below if you have any ideas of things that you would like for me to talk about. And I would love to do that. Have a great day.